Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're here today. Uh, now that we have cows and more animals, we're going to be having to use round bales of hay instead of the square bales. And rather than see the animals waste all their hay as, you know, like animals do, we went and bought the round bale uh, holder. Now this thing goes together in three separate pieces, which is very simple. Uh, it has six bolts. It has one in the top, one in the bottom on each side. And literally all that happens is you just you just bring these two together, line the holes up right here, put a carriage bolt in it and bolt it together. And we're going to go a little bit further with this one. We're going to actually take some pieces of 4x6s and 4x4s and we're going to strap it to the bottom because I don't want the metal sitting on the ground because if I do it will rust. We're going to put those on there and we're going to coat them with a black tar substance and hold this thing up off the ground about three and a half, four inches so that uh, we don't have to worry about the pipes actually rusting. And we'll take you along on that part of the journey and show you how we complete it. As usual, the bolts that we got that came with it has no washers with them. So one of the things on the homestead we do is, is when we go to places like Walmart and these little convenience stores and stuff like that, we pick up these packs of washers here. They're like they're less than $2, and you're always needing washers on a homestead. So we just buy these things up, keep boxes of them around, because you never know on a homestead when you're going to need a washer. We know we've got to have six of them, so. Now this thing uses carriage bolt. A carriage bolt has a square head on it made to fit in these slots right here and it holds itself because it doesn't have a head on this side up where you can put a wrench on it it's real smooth feeling and you just stick this thing through and it actually holds the head the bolt on the other side now this is a square head right here that fits in that square slot and it just slips right up in there like that and it holds it so you can tighten the nut down on the other side and the bolt actually will hold itself Okay guys, I've got the uh, hay ring put together now. What I'm going to do is, I have some scrap pieces of 4x6s uh, here. My thoughts on this is, is I don't want this uh, cattle uh, hay ring sitting on the ground because of rust. So what I'm planning on doing is that every one of these joints you see right here, I'm going to mount one of these 4x6s underneath it. But before I do that, even though these are treated, it's one thing you learn in the deep south of treated wood, it won't last very long. So what we're doing is I have a product here that I got some of from my neighbor, uh, Mr. Brian Laurie over at the Laurie Family Homestead. This is a fenced post Black Beauty asphalt um, paint. It waterproofs everything. It says to use above or below grade. So um, you know, it, it can be used for this particular thing. It prevents weathering and damage and everything. And we noticed when we painted it on the wood, all these cracks you see in the wood there, this thing fills those cracks in and kind of helps protect the wood even more. So we're going to give this a shot and we're going to get them painted with some of this black stuff and just see what it looks like when we get through because I believe this is going to be the answer to preserving this hay ring for many years to come. Now might I add if you do this, I got an old paintbrush here, it ain't no good, it's done done turned hard on me and everything, you know, you can't even hard do nothing with it. Because this is what the stuff looks like. It looks like roofing cement, but it's it's a little bit more flexible than that. Um, so we're gonna take this stuff and we're gonna actually put it on the brush. Let me get this thing kind of situated here. Okay, we're going to get us some of this stuff out here. We're going to put it on the brush. We're going to come up here and we're going to start coating this thing. We want a good heavy coat. Fill in all the holes and all the cracks so that there is absolutely no wood exposed. That's going to work out real good for what we're wanting. I highly recommend this stuff, guys. It's not that expensive. You can get it from Home Depot. I 
I think it's like 30 something dollars for five gallons. It's actually cheaper than paint. So I'm gonna continue to paint the rest of these and get this done and we'll get back with you and show you what they look like. Okay guys, we have all three of them painted here now. You can see we got them painted on all six sides. Let them sit out here in this blistering hot sun to dry before we actually mount them to the cattle ring. Okay, as you all can see, I have my blocks of wood with the uh, black asphalt painted on them now. The first one has been um, installed at the edge of the bottom there where the two join together and they're strapped and screwed to it. I have another one right here. I've got to put some more straps on it. And then I have the third one, which is right here. So let's see if I can back out and I'll kind of show you. This is what it looks like. What this does is this keeps the hay ring from actually sitting on the ground. As you can see up under it here, there's a three and a half inch space up off the ground that keeps it from directly sitting on the ground here now. What I'm using here, let me see if I can get in here a little bit closer and show y'all. These are brick ties. Uh, being in the construction business, we did a lot of brick work. If I can back out here, back out a little bit there. Here we go. This is brick ties. Now what I do is I take this brick tie and I stick it up in here about an inch and a half and I bend it over like this. I flip it around, I stick this in there, and I bend it. That gives me a piece that looks like this right here. I take this piece and I stick it down on here. And as I bend it around the pipe, what it does is, is it creates a perfect U like that for me. Then I take my drill motor, these are just these are just plain roofing screws like you put in a metal roof right there. I take them, I stick them down in the hole that's in the brick tie, and I screw the brick tie down. Then I take one over here, take this hole, What that does is, is that screws that down very tight and I'm double strapping each side of it just to give me a little bit more strength. And I've got one more to go right over there. And when I get that one done, we'll be ready to pick this baby up and take it to the field. Okay guys, we've got it done now. See the one over there, one over here. We have all three of our legs underneath our hay ring now. It's time to take the tractor and move her to the field. <laughs> 